Hello, everybody. Welcome to New Earth Rising. We are so grateful you are here today. We've got so much fun for you guys. I am Michelle Ambergie, and I am the Awakener, one of many, and you may be an Awakener too. Today, we're talking about orbs, and we've got here with us the Orb Sisters, Sharon <laughs> and Tracy. And we they have pictures for us. They got all kinds of really cool information. These things are freaking amazing. So really quickly, I am Michelle Ambergie. I'm an intuitive, a psychic, an energy healer, sound healer, certified clinical hypnotherapist, life coach, spiritual coach, voice actor, author, and bookkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> We're all so multidimensional these days, aren't we? And so I'm so grateful to be here, and I'm so grateful to be here with my shenanigator, Sharon. We have so much fun here on New Earth Rising. We love bringing you guys these wonderful shows, these wonderful topics. And I'm going to turn this over to Sharon because our guest, Tracy, is a very special person to Sharon. So Sharon, tell us about this. Yes. Hey, Michelle. Thank you for for uh, introducing us. So thank you everyone for being here and for watching. I'm so excited and happy because my sister, Tracy Gorman is here and we are the Orb Sisters. We have so much fun taking photos of, or not just orbs, we call it orbs, you know, cause that's what, kind of what everyone knows with paranormal photography or anomalies, but all kinds of strange anomalies that we get through our cameras. And, you know, I've been taking orb photos for a long, long time, 30 years or so. But, and my sister's been taking them for what, about eight years now? Something oh, like that? Three. Three. Oh, <laughs> seems a lot longer. Because, <laughs> seems like eight. <laughs> yeah. Because she started getting the most amazing things three years ago that I'm like, I never get anything like that. I was happy just to get a little orb in a photo, you know? And so she started showing me and teaching me what, um, how to get good orb photos, how to get good anomalies and what conditions and things like that. Cause she started studying on it, uh, reading every book she'd get her hands on. And I learned so much from her. So I get some amazing photos now too, because of Tracy's, uh, Tracy's education <laughs> in that realm. So anyway, I'll stop blabbing. Tracy, thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, it, um, we've done, Tracy and I have done, actually did a presentation. I was telling Michelle, we did a presentation in Portland before the COVID thing broke out in a large group. And we talked to, uh, did a um, PowerPoint presentation on a stage in a theater with um, with the photos that we've taken. And the thing about photos also is that we learn from them, right? Mm -hmm. Right, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and I know that um, it seems like whenever we get uh, certain types of photos, it, it leads us into learning more and more about reality. And ourselves. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So you want to share a little bit about your journey and how you've come to be the master of orb photos that you are <laughs> the today? <laughs> Definitely not the master. <laughs> but, um, okay, sure. I can do that. So uh, it may have been about four years ago, but um, I started taking photos because I got a um, very interesting um, photo when my sister, Sharon, invited me to a um, ghost retreat, and there were quite a few psychics there and a lot of really fun, interesting people, and I was a stay-at-home mom <laughs> and, you know, was a little bit um, not into any of that stuff, but I just thought it would be fun. So I took a picture. We were sitting outside. I took a picture, and I saw these it was uh, the only way i can describe it in the camera not not with the, the naked eye but in the camera in your I cell phone these, right uh this was a cell phone yes yeah. exactly um these ribbons of light they were moving in like a ribbon pattern two of them 
moving in a ribbon pattern in front of me. And I thought at first somebody had put their hand in front of me and was waving their hand, but there was nobody around. And I was able to capture two shots of these two, um, two balls of light moving in a ribbon pattern and thought it was kind of interesting. And the next day we went into the old inn there and we went upstairs and um, Sharon being intuitive um, said, take a picture down the stairs uh, right here, take a picture right here. So I picked up my phone. This is my cell phone again. And we both saw in the cell phone display, two balls of light, light bouncing up the stairs. And I was able to capture those two balls of light. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I didn't put it on video, but we did. I did capture still shots of them. And then we went downstairs and um, she was taking a picture of me standing in the um, lobby area. And she saw those two balls of light in the camera, in the uh, phone, in the cell phone display, um, come from the direction of the stairs and zoom behind my head. So she didn't, wasn't able to capture them because they were zooming so fast. So that intrigued me. And it took me a couple years before I really dove into the orb thing. Um, I did see some orbs in our family Christmas photo, I think a couple years later. And then that intrigued me even more to take some photos. So I started reading up on it. One of um, the first books I, I, read was the Orb Project book, and it's um, written by a physicist and a, um, a um, ex-priest, um, Michael Ledwith and um, Klaus Heinemann is the physicist, and it was fascinating. So I read up on it just to see what I was getting into. You know, I didn't want to <laughs> dive into something that was going to be weird and scary. Well, it is kind of weird, but scary. <laughs> um, and then I just started experimenting with cameras and different um, uh, environments and found out that when it rains, the ionization is really high in the atmosphere. And I, we seem to get um, a lot more energy um, so we don't just get orbs in the rain, we get um, quite a few other things. So that's how I got started in it. And I was taking pictures outside at night in our front yard, backyard, um, almost every night for the first year or two. So yeah. that's how I got started. Wow. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? And, and you, you will be showing us those photos, those first photos, right? That you got of those orbs of light. I can. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see those. I can show this. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know, I never thought about the rain and getting the, and the ionization that totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Excuse my cat. <laughs> no, no, we love seeing your, we love seeing Mike. <laughs> he is a piece of work. You know what? I have a question for you really quick. What okay. kind of camera or film equipment are you guys using? Are you using cell phones or do you have special cameras? Like what equipment are you guys using? Well, from what I've discovered, um, cell phones are really good for video of orbs. You know, if you turn the light on your cell phone, you can get video, but not so great for still shots. The best um, camera that I found for us is the um, Nikon Coolpix S100 which is just a tiny little digital camera that you can purchase on eBay for like 40 bucks. Sometimes I've seen them for less than that. And it's the cheap digital cameras that tend to get the best orb photos because they have a really fast shutter speed and the cell phones um, don't. So because orbs can move pretty fast. So, and they, and they also have a, um, a brighter flash and cell phones because the orbs use the flash to manifest. They use the fluorescence from the flash, flash to manifest. Also, wow. isn't it true, Tracy, that um, the newer digital cameras have filters on them to, to re uh, filter out orbs and things like that? Right. Uh, a lot of the newer uh, fancy cameras, expensive cameras, fancy, yeah. will have an infrared filter so that you don't capture that kind of stuff. So, yeah. 
Because yeah, people, I mean, would... people would look at their old photos you know, right. that they take took from you know with the little cheap digital cameras, they'll probably see orbs in their photos. Yeah, because it's something that we probably would have looked seen before that we thought was just a, a you know a dust. spot on dust, dust. or yeah or yeah. something uh, you know something on the photo. Yeah, right. Definitely. Yeah. That's cool. interesting. That's really good information for people to have who are interested in, in going out there and doing it. Because mm -hmm. I just got the big fancy iPhone 13 Pro or whatever this is. I finally broke down. And um, I was so excited because I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go take some some orb photos. I'm like, oh, but it's good to know. Mm -hmm. well, that's that's what about I was the doing. Filters. Try that's taking I was video. Doing. Video mm -hmm. is really good. Yeah. Video, okay. you'll get definitely get them flying around but I was buying the expensive cameras two three hundred dollar cameras which is expensive to me and getting you know like these little tiny orbs or whatever um when Tracy started doing it, I'm like I want to I want to get back into getting all those amazing photos or I want to get more amazing photos like Tracy and I was getting this little tiny orbs something that you know wasn't all that fantastic and then Tracy was learning that the cheap cheapy cameras were getting the best photos the best orbs capturing the best yeah. and so you know now we i think you have what five or six and i have i think four or five of the little <laughs> yeah. cameras now i've i've gone through i think a couple of them you know i used them up <laughs> overused them and yeah. <laughs> had to get rid of them but yeah i've got right. quite a few right and then that's, and yeah, you know the good thing is if you use them in the rain you don't have to worry so much about exactly them getting wet and we wipe down the lens and everything on a regular basis but it's the the we get the best plasma and spirit mist um photos mm. in the rain yes yes we do that makes sense yeah. can we see some of these photos I sure. am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll start with um, the the ones that I took that got me started on this journey. Um, right here. So let's see. Hmm. Okay, so this was uh, when we were sitting outside, and this was with my, with my cell phone. So mm -hmm. you can capture these kinds of things. Now, I don't believe that these are orbs. Right. I, I just think it's spirit energy. I, I don't know, you know what to call it. But um, that was the second photo, I believe, that I took. This was the first one. So can you wow. see that okay? Yeah. That's so gorgeous. I love that. And there's, yeah. they have the, there's like purple energy around them. And it's, yeah. what's so amazing to me is how they were together the whole time. They were together. They were connected the whole time. Yeah. They yeah. were. And, and I felt um, a really powerful feeling of love when I saw them. I mean, it's mm. something you can't really describe, but um, right. right. that was that. And then, um, whoops see this is well this is what happened after they left so that's what i saw after they left if you can see that can you see that yes mm -hmm. okay. yeah that's awesome okay this so is this awesome. is this is the stairs that sharon said take a picture go, you know take a picture down here so i took a picture and just before i got captured the shot we saw those two balls of light coming up the stairs Bouncing, bouncing up the stairs. Yeah, bouncing. As if they were walking up the stairs. Wow. We could see that in the viewfinder. And, and at the time, we didn't think about, you know, video, getting video at the time. Right. This right. Quite a few years ago. Yeah. Right. But uh, that's so amazing to me. <clears throat> okay. Oops. Okay, so this is part of our uh, PowerPoint presentation that we did uh, at McMinimins in Portland. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And I thought I would just share this. You know, these are just our theories of what orbs might be. Uh, nobody really knows for sure what they are, but we can kind of guess. Um, you know, souls of departed loved ones, angels, archangels, spirit guides, beings from other dimensions, extraterrestrials, collect- collective consciousness, you know, all of the above. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Hey, Michelle, do you want to share that one little story that you told us earlier about a collective consciousness would yes. be right, right in that area, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I had a friend who had a um, an old ranch that was kind of up in the mountains and they had just bought it. They had, you know, they've maybe been living there for about six months or so. And we were playing around and we um, we're taking some photos and she captured one of the photos it was a great big huge orb out on the patio um, she at the time had a mac you know she had the fancy computer and we started looking at it close and we started realizing that there were pictures in this orb and so we started taking it, like really fo- focusing in each little section to try to see what it was And the pictures that we saw in there, and they were kind of in a spiral form too, were pictures that were relating to the history of that ranch. There were Native Americans. There was a a picturing of a flag that used to fly on the hill above the ranch. There was a figure of a woman in uh, late 1800 garb, which this ranch was in its heyday at that time. There was... um, a stagecoach, a stagecoach used to come by. There were horses, there were trees, but you could see the trees. You could kind of still see the area that that picture was taken. And so it had this history. And then it also had what looked like a picture of her dog that had recently passed away as well. And so it was like a, an anthology mm-hmm. of the history <laughs> of that ranch. So it was telling a story. That is so cool because that's amazing. I, I know that really is. And Tracy and I have seen scenes in orbs yes. that, that looks like a city or, or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Communities. Community. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's the word I was mm-hmm. looking for. Yeah. That's awesome. I love that. So they're also, you know, there's no time index in them. Right. <laughs> right. <clears throat> no time or space. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So then I just, just thought I'd share this, um, mm-hmm. you know, as far as the human eye can see, we can only see in this little area right here. And there's so much more outside of what we can see with the naked eye. That's why the camera um, can pick up um, infrared Mm-hmm. objects where that we can't see some people can see orbs with the naked eye i think it takes some practice to do that but i haven't been able to do that yet i think sharon you can see them sometimes can't you sometimes yeah like if i'm yeah. doing readings and things like that yeah in that, in I, that i've had that too but yeah. they move so fast it's that same mm-hmm. sensation of like you just barely catch them yeah and yeah gone too. It, and it, it's like it has to be out of the corner of the eye something about the cones in our eyes when we're looking straight on, isn't able to, to um, catch those frequencies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I read in the Orb Project book that um, they've clocked them at like 500 miles per hour. Whoa. Some of them. So they do move really fast. Yeah. So these are just some examples. I think some of your orbs are in here too, Sharon. I think that S is mine, oh. isn't it? No, that's mine. You can't that's yours. That's yours but... I know. Maybe it's because... <laughs> Because it's an S. Because it's an S. I've gotten an S before. I have. I've gotten quite a few S's. I've never okay. gotten a T. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's an eight. Or it maybe does it's look like an eight it looks, or an infinity. Then you yeah. know it could be. Yeah, I've I've gotten infinity symbols. Yeah. Before. Mm-hmm. Plus, there's two faces in there. Do you see them? Yes. There's, yes. A, yeah. there's a guy with a beard, and then somebody below him. Yep. I always see faces. Mm-hmm. There's a lot in every single one of these orbs. <laughs> oh, totally. I know. This one would be a little hard to find because it's so it's bright. So bright. Yeah. yeah. 
And then these are some more that have a little bit more um, pattern. And then in this one, can you see the face in this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the one next to it uh, looks like the Tin Man or next, <laughs> extraterrestrial. Yeah, it does, huh? <laughs> yeah. And then, um, I'm sorry, not the Tin Man. That the, the, low, the top left looks like the Tin Man. That's what I was thinking of. Up mm. here? Scattered today. Yeah. Yeah, yes. okay. And the one at the top right looks almost like a underneath of a UFO. Oh yeah, you're right. It does. It's got yeah, an interesting totally. pattern there. Mm -hmm. oh, and and yeah. I have noticed, um, just so you know, this one right here, yeah, I took took with the Canon. I can tell which camera I use mm. on each one of these orbs. This was the Canon. This was the Sony, and all of these were my Nikon. So this one yeah. too. So the each camera picks them up differently. So I don't know why, but just the way the camera has been manufactured. Um, but Sharon and I like that. We like the Nikon the best. It seems to, um, they seem to come out clear. Yes, 100. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get me one of those. Wow. <laughs> and then yeah. these are what I call exploding orbs. So they just, you know, have a lot of energy going on in them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at that one on the top right. Isn't that, I mean, that, that looks like a face coming through yep. with mm -hmm. all the light around it. That way it. looks like a portal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fact, what I think orbs are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead, Michelle. I would say, yeah, I, I, I agree because yeah. when I see psychically, or even I've seen it with my eyes, those portals opening, mm -hmm. it looks very much like that to where it's like very frazzled and oftentimes kind of colored at the edges right. as that's opening up. And then what's in the center, you kind of <laughs> are able to kind of see back in there. Yeah. I mean, it just looks to me like a window opening, right? Mm -hmm. With all that light. I, um, I just see it as a window opening to um, the uh, uh, another side, you know, beyond the veil, yeah. the, the, maybe the night sky there is the veil, or how, you know, the background there. Right. And then, <laughs> and then this window just opens up and there's so much light back there. So amazing. Yeah. And this one in the center looks like a spirit fish. <laughs> the spirit piranha. Yes. <laughs> the the yeah, and the one in the top um middle, middle, top yeah. mid. Looks like a a, a uh -huh. parachute upside down. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know I love these. Mm, these are fun. Are all those yours? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, so this was just something I um took from the Orb Project book on uh, the science part of orbs because I have kind of a scientific mind um, and I, I always, you know, want to know why <laughs> these are showing up and how are they showing up and that kind of thing. Um, so he does explain about the flash, how the flash um, helps. And, you know, some people will say, don't use your flash because it's not an orb if you use your flash, but that's not I don't agree with that because um, the, the orbs actually need the flash to manifest. They use the fluorescence from the flash. So mm. this is just some information. Um, and then the Doppler effect, you'll see a lot of the orbs have um, blue on one side. The orbs that are moving fast have blue on one side and orange on the other. And that uh, tells you which direction it's moving. So it says the trailing edge is the orange tint and the blue is the leading area. So it's leading this way and going. So it mm -hmm. would be going up. Right. If you think about this orb, it'd be going up. And we, in our presentation, I'm sorry to interrupt, Tracy. No, that's good. In our, in our presentation, we we showed a rock, what a rocket looks like mm -hmm. as well. And it has the leading edge is the blue and the yeah. trailing edge is the orange. Yeah. The energy around it. 
Interesting. Wow. And I like what um, excited electrons create extra ionization during rainfall and help the fluorescence process within the orbs. So there's yeah. right there of scientific um, uh, reasons for why we get such amazing photos in the in the rain. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then on to plasma clouds. <clears throat> so whoops. Wow. Oh yeah. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So I didn't know what a plasma cloud was. Some people call them light waves. Um, some spirit people call mist. them spirit mist, um, ectoplasm. And I just happened to come across mm -hmm. something on the internet about them. Some lady um, had taken pictures of them. So I don't know if it was that night or maybe, maybe a couple nights later, I asked for one. And I don't, I don't have the one that um, I'm not showing the one that I got, but I asked for one and immediately it showed above my head. I got it. And it, it, it floored me because that proved to me that these were intelligent beings mm -hmm. and communicating with me. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, um, that first plasma cloud that I got, I was getting them from then on. So it's almost like once you believe in them, then they start showing up to you, you know, yeah. because I didn't even know what one was until I asked for, until I found out about it and then asked for one. So I, they're just different ones. I also want to add to, to that story that I didn't know anything about plasma clouds either. And then Tracy was getting plasma clouds and showing me her pictures. And I'm like, oh, I want plasma clouds. <laughs> so so I'm gonna when, let my cat in. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, when, when, uh, so when uh, my partner and I, Jay and I went to Montana to visit his mother on Christmas, I was taking pictures and I said, you know what? I want some plasma clouds. Oh my gosh. I got plasma clouds galore. And mm -hmm. I never, ever gotten plasma clouds. Cause I didn't like Tracy said, I had no idea what they were. And they, yeah. I, that's the first time I ever got a dragon plasma cloud. I got mm -hmm. a, a dragon. Yeah. What well, looks, looks like a dragon. Okay. Continue. <laughs> okay. So, um, you can, you can see them swirling around you in the camera. It's, it's, it's a really amazing experience. I mean, you can't even describe it yeah. unless you're in it. And yeah. these are um, mm. some more, and you can see the colors. Some of the colors in here are just crazy. You know, what's really amazing too, is that when Tracy and I do this and we get these plasma clouds, it lifts our frequency so much. And mm -hmm. we're just, we're vibrating so high. It's even hard to sleep afterwards and Tra I think it was Tracy that said you know if everyone did this if everyone went out and and you know took pictures or whatever it is communicated with plasma because it's light nobody would be sick in the world mm -hmm. yeah yeah I believe no, that yeah. yeah we wouldn't have any mental illness or any physical illness whatsoever it's definitely it's very healing yes mm -hmm. It's amazing the the rainbow colors that are in there and the mm -hmm. the multiple levels and layers in there as well. Yeah. I mean, that's absolutely fascinating. I've not seen I'm you know, I've been into orbs for a really long time. I've taken some, but not really that much photographing them. But you know, looking at them, studying them, watching them, you know, on YouTube and stuff like that. And you ladies have some exceptionally awesome pictures here. Oh, thank you. And yeah. then I did pull a couple, whoops, a couple plasma clouds here, just um, right here. Here's another one that I wanted to show that wow. has a lot of color in it. And what camera is that? Because the Nikon doesn't get those colors. That's so the Sony. That's the Sony. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I do use my Sony a lot for plasmas because it, it it picks up the colors a lot better. I mean, you just, you know, that's not fog. Right. Um, right. It, it's, fog doesn't have those kind of colors in it. And then this one here too. Ooh. And that's with the Sony? Yep. Wow. 
You know, what's a lot of fun is to set up your cell phone and videotape yourself um, with plasma swirling around you. Yes. Oh, that's cool. That is a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I was at a Native American uh, drumming circle many, many years ago. And there were people that were not doing that on purpose, but accidentally catching mm-hmm. that as we were drumming. Oh, really? Oh, wow. I bet. Yeah, I bet. So now these are um, energies that we usually get in the rain. And we just came up with the term veils because they kind of look like veils. <laughs> and they're always very colorful and um, really mm-hmm. fun to catch. Yeah, they're amazing. They always seem to have a bright light close to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, there's a bright, there's mm-hmm. a light here, there's a light here, there's a light up here. I don't know about this one, but. Well, it looks like yeah. that there's a couple of lights because it looks like one part maybe, here, maybe. Um, disconnected from the other part. <laughs> I don't right. Know. Yeah. I think there's some kind of a plasma ship or something. Oh no, what 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 was it we were talking about? Or some someone on your fa- on our Facebook group mentioned, or one of those Facebook groups that, that they thought that maybe they were the um, the covering of a portal coming off. Oh right, right. Oh, that's. I mean, interesting. you know, we don't know. It's, we don't know. It's a good theory. Yeah, lots of theories. You know, there's a woman who is on YouTube and she looks at all of the cameras in different cities, you know, everything is under surveillance and she catches and this stuff and watches it move and grow and shift and change. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a living structure. I've seen those. I've seen, those are amazing. And they Mm. look like this. Yeah. They do. And their name is Gina something. Yep. Gina. Yep. Oh my gosh. Gina something. I'll look her up. Yeah, look at those. So these are just a few more here. Absolutely amazing. And then sometimes we'll get um, unusual what things. What is that? And <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> some call them elementals. Um, the Or Project um, book, I've seen an explanation of this as an orb that's spinning at a such a fast rate that you're catching all the tentacles of it <laughs> spinning which could be uh that's kind of the scientific explanation it could be that uh but some of them don't look like that so i don't know i know um oh, sharon's wow. gotten a lot of these wow i just call them anomalies and y- you can see this is I mean, I don't know how big it is because, you know, you don't know how close it is to the camera, but it's above the house here and it looks like it's fairly large. Yeah. It looks like back in the sixties, that trucking, uh, trucking, keep on trucking. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) The, the logo. The to keep on trucking logo. With the guy with the big the foot way out, like I'm trucking. Oh right, oh, yeah. Oh, it. that's right. <laughs> okay, now I get it. Yeah. <laughs> like whatever this is is on a mission. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh, totally. So cool looking. Her name is Gina Gina Marie Colvin. Gina Marie Colvin. Yeah. G-I-N-A. She's got some amazing, yeah. and she's been kicked off a couple of times too. Where she's yeah, catching she stuff that's going on at, at uh, I think there was something uh, in Russia, the Kremlin. I saw that. Something around oh. the White House, and they yanked her off of there. Oh, I didn't see that, but I did see some building, some tower building in Russia where there was some kind of uh, beans climbing up the bu- building. I saw that. Yeah, that was. Yeah, crazy, creepy. He has yeah. caught some crazy stuff, and I was watching one a, a while ago where it was like these plasmas were creating around the buildings, and then it looked like they were going into the buildings. Oh, like wow. they were slowly like going in through a window, and then they disappear. Wow. Well, hopefully that's all good stuff. <laughs> okay, so we were talking about portals. Yes. And this, I just have one photo of a portal, but here, oh, but darn. I'm thinking that's probably a portal. That and this looks is like taken in the snow. 
so this is the first time I ever took photos in the snow and um, got some pretty incredible shots there. Yeah, that's yeah. like wormhole. That's mm -hmm. like wormhole yeah. portal. <laughs> I know Sharon, he, she's, she's gotten some of these too. Wow. Yeah. The first time I got my portal, I was so excited. I actually blew it up and I have it hung in, hung up in my bedroom. So it was just so gorgeous. So beautiful, mm -hmm. these things. And they're just so amazing that to think yeah. that, I mean, we have everything, everything in our backyard. <laughs> I mean, in right in our own space, there is no yeah. time. We've in learned, our house even. <laughs> yes, there is no time and space. Everything is We've learned so much from our photos. Mm -hmm. mm. And then I just um, added this for anybody who, you know, wants to start taking pictures of orbs. And I've discovered you have to have an open mind and an open heart. And the right camera helps. <laughs> and then also the environment and the surroundings. You want to have, you know, good energy. So that my sister and I, you, you know what a SETI is, right, Michelle? Mm -hmm, I do. Yeah. Okay, so um, the Assetti Ranch, uh, my sister and I have been there quite a few times, and the energy there is just amazing. We've gotten some really amazing photos. Oh, man, ranch. I can only imagine. And it's interesting, too, these um, six-sided and even five-sided yeah. forms that that show up too it's a very natural geometrical form mm -hmm. and uh, I yeah, love those are one. rare I've I've only gotten maybe two of those mm -hmm. in all the years that I've been capturing or have, have you gotten any Sharon I don't know okay not off the top of my head I don't know if I've gotten any that are I can't say and this I, one's actually seven-sided. One, two. Three. I know. It is. It's seven-sided. Wow. I thought it was octagon, but it's seven-sided. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that's crazy. Septagon is that septagon? Is septagon. Seven. Wow. So then I just pulled this um, for people who you know want to start taking photos, and I listed our cameras that we use. The Nikon Coolpix S100 is our favorite. And then keep the flash on. Um, I turn the image mode down just because uh, you don't really need um, very high um, image mode on there. And so your photos aren't so big as far as, you know, um, size wise. So you can, you can keep it on eight um, image mode. And the orbs are easier to see at night. So that's where you might want to start. And then you, you know, talk to them, <laughs> ask them to show up. Definitely. And, um, and at first, I, you know, I may have gotten one or two orbs in my photos in the beginning. And then um, once you start taking more and more, they, they start showing up more, which is pretty exciting. And then you don't want to take pictures in a dusty area or fog, or uh, you don't want to point it directly into the sun because then you'll get lens flare, which can cause orb-like images. Though those can be really pretty, and some of them may be paranormal, but um, you just don't know. And then, as we said, um, you know, taking pictures in the rain or snow is our favorite time to take photos. Also, I don't know if you mentioned that here. I don't think you did. You have to take a lot of photos. You have to don't just lot. take two or three photos and expect to get, you know, a couple of orb, orbs in them. Exactly. We take on a good night, we'll take maybe two or three hundred photos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've taken 800 photos in one night before. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Wow. <laughs> that's probably the most. Yeah. That's but a lot. If, the, if the conditions are really good, I cannot stop. It is hard to stop and you feel that pull too when um, mm -hmm. when you you know when conditions are good you feel the pull you do they're like yeah. we're out, we're, we're going to come out and play <laughs> <laughs> right okay then um, oh th this was my last yes. one but then I'll, I'll show, show yours you this Yay. was my Jesus orb that Sharon wanted me to share that is beautiful 
And when, what was the circumstances when you got that? I don't know. You don't remember? <laughs> I should pay more attention to that. I really <laughs> don't know. It was just you know another what, night of orb shooting. Do you know what <laughs> camera you were using? Um, that's from my Nikon. Because yes, you can see yeah. it's a portal because you can see in the center there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's very, very small. If you yeah. want to see the, the full picture, I can show you the full picture. Mm. It's actually very small. And those are the best ones because yeah. those are the ones that are, have the most energy. They're compact. They're the, they're the ones that I figured out for what I understand is they are on the yeah. inner rings of Events. our universe the yeah. multiverse you know what i mean right right yeah. so this this wow. is there it is right there so this is the full picture and this one this one is really pretty too yeah um, yeah but that's totally. the full picture. wow <laughs> so okay well let's get to your stuff sharon i just brought up um since I wanted you to bring up Jesus, thank you for doing that. And I just Ooh. wanted to bring up my some of my angel photos and then my Mary photos, Mother Mary. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this one, this one and the next one I got at when we were at, it was after we left the study and we were in Hood River at the hotel. Oh, right. And it was raining. We just stood on the balcony and was taking pictures. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was yeah. fun. It was. And we got some amazing photos too. We that did. That is absolutely stunning. Isn't that gorgeous? This next one. And that one too, yeah. They were having a lot of fun dancing on the on the water there. Mm -hmm. The Columbia River. So bright. So amazing. Wow. That was in my backyard. And I love how it's got that turquoise blue one there, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. You know, you got all white and then you've got that beautiful turquoise right there. And it looks like there's something circling it behind, too. I know, right? Yeah, it does. You're right. Wow. So it could, it, you know, it's like a um, portal or something, you yeah. know, it um, that kind of thing mm. where the light comes out of. I feel like the light comes out of that. Mm. I wonder if that's I love this blue beam behind yeah, it. Yeah, that made me think of Michael just now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> totally. Yeah. The cat? <laughs> <laughs> Michael the angel you've heard of him right <laughs> the angel cat the angel cat yeah and I just so love that bright. I love that heart so bright yeah and this one I um, got at Tracy's place in, in uh, mm -hmm. Seattle area and that as soon as I got it I thought Mother Mary Mm -hmm. that was absolutely it. that was what i was feeling yeah wow and that feels like an angel you know uh, going back to mother mary um when tracy and i are together our mother shows up all the time oh that's in, so from cool. spirit and when she shows up to me I, I get the feeling of mother mary not that she was a saint when she was here or anything like that, but <laughs> I mean, you know, she was our mom and she had her stuff. Of course we all do, but I feel that energy from her, um, yeah. like m mom and, and mother Mary, if that makes it, I don't mm. know if I'm making any sense, but I was feel totally, that yeah. similar kind of energy. Maternal energy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. And that one is in our orb sisters oracle cards we have oracle cards for those of you that are watching and at the end we'll pull a, i'll pull a card and put a link somewhere in this so people can go find them too we had a lot of fun creating these oh, cards so yeah. fun yeah wow look at that i love the colors in that one 
Right. Mm. That looks like an angel to me. Yeah, the violet flame. Yeah. Wow. And that one was at Isteti. And they um, mm. get a lot of visitations from um, Mary and Kuan Yin that, you know, is there a lot. And I just felt this Mary energy with that one. Mm -hmm. The blue is just, you know, and yeah. I think the camera probably doesn't even pick up the colors that it's showing because mm -hmm. it can only pick up a certain amount of colors. Right. Um, there's a lot of colors mm. we cannot see. Right. Oh, that's so pretty. And that felt like Mary energy too. Mm. Mm. Okay. And that's it. Tracy, will you please show your vortexes? Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that would be fun to see the vortexes. That was the cards. Was it me? Wow. Well, these are some of my first ones that I got and went, what the heck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so they just showed up um, out of nowhere. And I, at first I thought it was water on the lens. And so I would wipe the lens and take another picture, wipe the lens, take another, and they would still show up. So this, you can see, there's a tree right here and the vortex is so strong. It, it the tree disappears. Yeah. In this area. And that happens in the rain. Have you ever had those in the, in the, um, that's in the daytime right there. That's in the daytime. Yeah. When it wasn't raining. Do we get any vortexes? Um, I think I have. You have? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That is just breathtakingly oh, beautiful. Isn't that awesome? And, you know, there's so much nature, too. I know that has a difference. I've I've tried taking photos in very um, city-type areas and in buildings, you know, connection like that. But it's out in nature is when I find I get the best yeah. yes. photos. Yes. Yeah, totally. And I agree with that. Mm -hmm. So these are just some uh, oh. vortexes within plasma mm -hmm. here. Isn't that crazy? I love those. Wow. And those are my favorite. I think plasmas are my favorite photos to get. Mm. Especially when they have all that energy going on. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just mesmerizing and out of this world <laughs> to me. Mm -hmm. Totally. I mean, that looks like a tornado. <laughs> yeah, there's so much energy going on when, we, when we're getting these photos like this. It's, I mean, your energy just, your frequency, you can't help but feel good. Mm -hmm. mm. Some people would get freaked out about it, um, but I never really have. I think mm -hmm. it just takes a little bit of practice. And, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's wow. crazy. I know. Oh my God. Look at that. And that was amazing. It's just that there's a, that's a black, that's a portal. Nobody mm -hmm. can tell me that's not some kind of a portal. Yeah, absolutely. Cannot tell me that. And you know, what's fascinating too, is so much of the surrounding area and even part of the plasma, you can see all of the little orbs in there. It's like they're all supporting it. They're all yes. a part of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, totally. Yep. I've seen in, in <laughs> plasma clouds and, and uh, like this, I've seen lots of faces within them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, that are part of that. Right. But, yeah. I think that's it. What about your um, seahorse? Oh, okay. I have a mantid. Tracy has a seahorse. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, look how sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that was taken in the snow. Isn't that awesome? 
That is so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Thank you. And that's just a tiny, tiny, wow, tiny fraction. Tiny the fraction. Things, the things we get, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That is amazing. Now, let me ask you, when you guys are photographing, I know you've said that you've asked for them to be there. So when you're taking the photos, because you're doing it digitally, you can see what you're getting, right? Mm -hmm. Do you ever then sit when you realize you're having a lot of activity and just begin to communicate and, and get communication from this presence? Or I like, don't. That, I don't do that, but it's not a bad idea to do that. Yeah. Because yeah, sometimes, sometimes I... You know, I get so caught up. I'm a, I'm a visual person. I'm an artist. So I get caught up in the, the visual part of, of the photos and don't do that kind of meditating on the photos and trying to get a message from the photos, which uh, I need to do more often. So um, yeah, that's yeah, a good question. Yeah. Or being like, like, who, who is this? What is this? Is there, yes. mm -hmm. you know, are, are we trying to make connection? They're showing up. Yeah. Right. You know, are we trying to make connection? What I do I is Karen does that a little more than mm -hmm. I do. Don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I do is I talk to them and I sing, I sing a lot when I'm taking photos. I'll, you know, if, um, and I'll, I'll sing and dance because I feel <laughs> so energized because I can't just stand still. <laughs> and so I'm communicating in that way. And it's more about joy than words if that makes any sense. So the yeah. joy that I feel when I'm doing it, it, um, I can feel that communication from them in joy. So there's no feeling of this is who I am, or this is what I'm trying to tell, you know, any messages right. or anything. It's just pure joy. Yeah. It's raising it, your frequency. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. that, that yeah. joy that they're, and I feel that they're joyful doing this with us. i totally feel that they oh, big time. are yeah. very joyful that the with the fact that we are paying attention and we are communicating in this way because they want us to communicate they want it they're they love teaching what you know with what we're um, learning from our photos and that kind of thing and being in that in that um, connection with them and using that tool, being able to see through the veil with that tool, because that camera helps us see through the veil. Right. Yeah, and um, and so I feel that joy really strong, and that's that's all I care about when I'm doing it. <laughs> wow. And that's why they they show up around animals and children a lot too, because they're so joyful mm -hmm. and parties and gatherings and things like that like the drumming circle you were talking about, Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, um, that's what, that's what, how, what they want us to feel. And that's what they're, they're just like us. They want to feel good too. That's amazing. And I, think, I think more than anything, they want us to know that they are here. And they are with us and they, they exist, you know, whether it's loved ones or, or, you know, it just spirit on the other side, just peeps on the other side. They just want us to know that, that we're not alone and they do exist mm -hmm. and have that connection and that communication. And that they can help us too. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I know Tracy, you, you, um, shared with me that I think it was the first school shooting or something was it the Columbine or something where you were really upset and you went outside and asked them, uh, go ahead. Do you mind sharing that story? It was the, the Parkland okay. school shooting yeah, in Florida. And, um, I was just really upset over it. And I asked, um, is there hope for humanity and just feeling, you know, down and I got the most amazing pictures I'd ever received that night. So in my mind, that was a, yes, there's hope. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So they will give you, if you ask them, I've had um, questions answered in, in my photos 
and I, I don't mean like, you know, am I going to get that job next week or something, but yes. you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Can you show me this in the photos? I've asked Prince to show up. He showed up. I asked John Lennon to show up. I was playing John Lennon's song, Imagine, and he shows up in my photos. Okay. Um, in Prince, an orb. In an orb. Thank in you. Orb. Mm -hmm. In an orb. Yeah. Sorry. So things like that. And because, you know, when you're out there doing that, the all the stuff that we care so much about that we think is really important isn't important when we're out doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's important is that <laughs> communication, that connection. Yeah. Well, we live in such a limited space, yeah. typically mm -hmm. as humans. You know, we have this limited matrix that we're in. Right. <clears throat> that for most people doesn't even allow for this even possibility mm -hmm. of these orbs and spirits and all that kind of stuff. And that really allows us a visual guide to be able yes. to really begin to realize there's more yeah. than what we're doing. And it's time to expand out into it. Totally. That's we've true. also got, yeah, we've also gotten photos of grid lines. Like mm -hmm. that looks like right. the matrix mm -hmm. and where you can see them opening up and see the light behind it. Yeah, and Sharon will attest to this. I was kind of an open-minded skeptic on all this stuff. You know, she would say, oh, I'm getting orbs, I'm getting orbs. And I'd be like, oh, that's nice. And, you know, <laughs> not, not really get into it that much. But I was kind of skeptical about it all and a bit left-brained. And that's why I started with the science part of it first and then went from there. So if I, if I can believe it, I mean, anybody can believe it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's, um, I think you have to experience it, it, have your own experience with it too. You do. You have to have your own experience. Yep. Yep. Cause we and, have a Facebook, sorry, go ahead, Michelle. Oh, I was going to say, and I'm, I'm so grateful that you guys talked about the different kind of equipment and that kind of stuff because that you know that can make a big difference because we have these these phones and these fancy things that we have with us all the time you know right. and people use their their cameras on their phones all the time and i think it's so important that you guys made that 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 um differentiation and mm -hmm. and why it's important to use particular equipment because it could get really disappointing if you've got this you know, like I'm thinking I got my fancy ass phone, right? <laughs> it's like, I can't get any orbs. Yeah. And, but to really make that clear that mm -hmm. there's, there is something about those filters and the, the high tech kind of filming that we have now that doesn't catch these natural anomalies. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Makes a difference. Yeah. Cell phones uh, get, well, can get orbs and uh, in movement Motion. where you see a stri streak and that was my problem when I first started taking orbs with my cell phone was I just kept getting streaks I'm like how come everyone's you know the people that uh, groups I was taking orbs with it um the retreat place where we went to the ghost retreat I used to go to a lot of retreats there and um and people with cameras were getting orbs and I didn't make the distinction like you were talking about that oh it's because they have a camera and they're not using a cell phone until um tracy started getting hers and then and then that i was uh, oh it clicked oh now i get it yeah mm -hmm. but if you got if for you um special peeps watching if you have any old digital cameras and you want to do this get it out and see what you get yeah yeah, yeah. and the fun part is analyzing yeah. it afterwards right right definitely and you guys have a group. We do. That you have. A, it's a Facebook group, correct? It is. It's called the Orb Sisters. Mm -hmm. And can anybody come play? Yes. Anybody. That's awesome. If yes. anybody's interested in learning more and sharing with Sharon and Tracy to get on over Facebook, it's Orb Sisters. Mm -hmm. um, and I was taking a look at it and you guys have some really interesting stuff on there. And it's, this is, this is exciting. And, you know, this is, this is stepping out of the mundane and really allowing us to open our hearts and minds and to, 
to begin to touch into those spaces that are beyond what we've been allowed to think and know. Mm -hmm. And we're finally able to expand out into this. And, and as we do that, that's part of the awakening. That's part of this whole shift that we're going through is opening up into realizing that there's all kinds of stuff in the unseen world and it's safe. Mm -hmm. It's joyful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Totally. And we do encourage people to share their own photos on our group as well. Um, We also have a YouTube channel. We do. The Orb Sisters. Yes, we do. Yeah. And then I have a website. Yes, and it so, explains a lot about cameras, and you get mm-hmm. lots of information on there, and um, some more I photos. Some information, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Wonderful. called Orb what Discoveries. Orb Discoveries. Discoveries. Dot com. Okay, let's make sure we get that in the body here too. Yeah. Um, we do that because that's so. You know, when someone starts seeing this and the beautiful photos that you guys have presented here, it's anybody who sees it want to going to want to go look a little bit deeper into it and so tracy all you've done so much research into this thank you oh you know because now people can go and look especially the skeptics like you right Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they were kind of like there is scientific data Mm -hmm. backing all this up yeah and so go go visit tracy's uh website you guys those of you that are really interested in this um it's the next step. It's the it's yeah. the next frontier, right? Yes. Moving into this. Moving yes. into this. It is definitely. And um, the Tracy, which one? What what books or study materials would you suggest for people if they want to learn more about uh, the communication and the connection with orb photos and you know and and helping us evolve as as a human? <laughs> um, well, the Orb Project book, I would say, is one of the first ones you want to read, though it is mostly scientific there, though he does talk about connections and, um, and you know, how some of the orbs appeared after uh, requesting them and that yeah. sort of thing. Right. Uh, but I would say that one, I mean, there's a lot of different um, or books out there. Um, I don't really have a specific one that I would recommend about connecting. I think because everybody has their own specific journey Mm -hmm. on it. So, I mean, Nancy Myers, she has, yeah, um, our friend Nancy, good books. She, she started getting, um, orb photos after her son, uh, died. Mm -hmm. yeah and he he led her on that journey yeah Yeah, she's written a couple books she has two books so yeah those are very good but it's her personal journey and it's they're pretty fascinating both both books that she's written are very fascinating yeah so i have a very important question (laughs) do we look like orbs to them from their side (laughs) (laughs) Good question, right? I'll ask you them. Like, <laughs> Next time I'm out there taking pictures, I'll ask that question. <laughs> I love that question. <laughs> it, I mean, it goes both ways. <laughs> you would Do think. we look like angels too? I yeah, know, right? Maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Michelle, when you get out there and take photos, ask. <laughs> I'm going go. to. Right? I'm going to, what do I look like to you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, how do I appear to you? Because mm-hmm. yet another they, layer of learning. Right. I've heard that, well, the higher beings, what, what I understand too, is they, what they see is our light. Yeah. They don't see our physical appearance. They see our that light. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And how much of our light shines. And if we have stuff covering up our light, then they don't see us very well. So the more light we have and the more light we shine, the easier it is for the higher planes to see us, is my understanding. Yep. So you have to, I, I really believe you have to remove all fear. Because um, mm-hmm, yeah. if you're out there and you're afraid, I mean, I'm out, sometimes I'm out at three o'clock in the morning. If it's pouring down rain and I'll jump out of bed and go out in my yard at three in the morning and the pitch dark, you know, and if you're afraid, 
then you're not going to get much. So yeah, you just have yeah. to remove all fear. The only things I'd be afraid of are spiders. Spiders. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that freaks me out are the critters we have around here. We've got skunks and raccoons roaming around and, yeah. um, and the, the skunks don't see very well. So I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to, you know, be a, all of a sudden see a, a skunk on my foot because they're pretty friendly but <laughs> that would the freak skunk me out. spray a beautiful orb i know right there we go <laughs> luckily you don't spray us but yeah that, the critters i think would freak me out the most that's the only thing that kind of freaks me out although i have been spooked when i'm taking photos of plasma uh, plasma clouds i don't ask for plasma clouds to show up or they just start showing up and then there's one right in front of you you take a photo and it's like right there in front mm -hmm. of you. You see it in the screen Ooh, and it's right there. And it's like, oh, okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's sometimes it's a little bit shocking when they show up right in front of your face. Right in front of you. Yeah. Wow. Because they, they, they're all around you. They're all around you. Ooh. You know, another thing that um, that's interesting is when I was taking video of myself, uh, cause I wanted to see, you know, I had my cell phone. Um, I think I was using a selfie stick or something. It was just saying, Hey, okay. Plasma. We'll see the plasma. And it looked like some plasma was coming out of my head mm -hmm. at one point. Well, you know, it kind of stands to reason because we're electromagnetic beings yeah and we are energy beings that we may have plasma fields ourselves maybe sure. that's what our aura is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. could be you know and we could be whoa i just had a thought we could be actually interacting with them our plasma could be interacting with any plasma that's coming to join us i know Michelle, and you right? just like <laughs> pulled it right out of my head <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I thought do. about yeah. that, Michelle, that maybe I'm taking a picture of my aura, you know, sometimes I'll be taking it above my head or something and I'll think, is that my aura yeah. or what, you know, so who knows? And we know there's layers and layers and layers and, mm -hmm. you know, maybe these, what we're seeing, like, especially when you're in person doing this, maybe you are taking partially, that's part of your aura interacting mm -hmm. with other dimensions too could you be know. yeah definitely that's yeah. a good point i know i've got useful mm -hmm. we've got some amazing photos of be steady that tracy didn't show but we have amazing plasma mm -hmm. being large huge beings well i'm taking pictures of tracy and some other people that are there and it, it was raining and we were so lucky it um if you haven't been to a steady people that it's an amazing ranch where you can look at the sky and see ships and stuff and the base of Mount Adams and um it's e-c-e-t-i yes yeah, so you know, yeah. yes it's, what, and what is it it's um, enlightened contact, contact with extraterrestrial intelligence intelligence there you yeah. go thank yeah. you yeah and there's these in the photos where I'm taking pictures of of Tracy and a, a couple of people there's plasma around them and you can't even see them Ooh. because there's so much plasma around them with these there's this one that, with this big winged being and it doesn't wow. it, it 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 um is standing there with these it looks like it's just standing there so, well it is it's protect or protecting surrounding tracy and and i remember um i forgot his name james yeah, yeah. Tim, Tim, sorry. <laughs> yeah, not your husband, Tim, but another Tim that was there. Yeah. But they're, they're just, we were hanging out taking pictures. And this, do you remember that photo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It was stunning. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So there's, um, I, don't, I don't know what that, you know, what we were talking about can uh, crack, help crack this case <laughs> about what orbs are, what crack orbs, the code crack the code, crack the code. <laughs> and plasmas are they come from us <laughs> we are the plasma and oh, it would it, kind of make sense it does 
Now we were discussing our um, our oracle cards. So oh, yes, you can get them on uh, Etsy. You can get them on Etsy, Etsy. and you're going to pull a card. So yeah, yes. the Orb Sisters on Etsy. And they come with a little pouch, and they're it's what so I think cute. eighteen dollars or something. Uh, they might be twenty. I think oh, they're twenty. Includes shipping, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, so I'll pull a card for us, for everyone watching and all of us. All right. <laughs> Chaos. I mean, there's a lot of that right now. I know, isn't it? In the world. <laughs> And by the way, I will um, say that Tracy and I worked really hard on these cards mm -hmm. and we, um, the photos are both of ours. And I'm proud to say that, that I brought the messages through and I just wrote a bunch of messages that came through and then we matched up the pictures that we felt went with the, with the message. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it just, yeah. So chaos, if you feel your life is in chaos, take heart in knowing that chaos is needed for true healing. Chaos allows for a great shift in thought patterns and comfort zones. It's time to let go and let God. That's this one is, for the individual all the way out to the collective. All the way. That's your photo, right, Tracy? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are wonderful cards too. I'm going to go get mine. Yeah, these were channeled. These were channeled for sure. And um, they knew. We had hoped to do 44, but we got it down to 33. So there's 33 cards. Well, you can do like baseball cards do. They Every year they put out some extras to add to your collection. Oh. Because we were going to do another deck. Or that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could put it was out. hard to pick. It was hard to choose what photos. Oh. It was. Now that I've seen what you guys have, I can understand. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Because I've seen a lot of this stuff, and I've not seen some of what you gals have have no. shown here today. This is really thank wonderful. You. Yeah. And thank so, you for sharing. Tracy's the yes. she's the one who who learned how to do it right. <laughs> I don't know if there's a right or wrong, but well, <laughs> to get amazing photos, because I just yeah. followed in her footsteps and to say, you know, and uh, but yeah, it's it's total, it's fun. I highly, we highly, highly recommend it. Yeah, get away from the computer, get away from our phone, get away from TV, get away get from out in the rain. I think it's supposed to rain tonight, you know, where I'll be. Woo, yeah, <laughs> here too, here too. <laughs> Get away from the chaos that's going on in the world, you know, just go outside yeah. and take photos. All you need to do is go outside, go outside in your own place. Of course, the less light, the better, um, yeah, and you know. You can, you can actually get good um, photos inside too, in your house no, yeah. And, yeah. and video too. You can get yeah. orbs moving around your house. Mm -hmm. if you want. Yeah. I had a house that I lived in for quite some time and I had a weekly meditation for nine or not nine years in that house, seven years in that house and just a lot of spiritual stuff happening. And there were orbs everywhere wow. and I would take pictures, you know, and there'd just be clustered everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it was interesting because at that time, um, there was some weird stuff going on in the house. Oh too. yeah. Oh, and yeah. I started freak, freaking myself out. Right. <laughs> like we get scared and then they, they left. And so I was like, okay, phew. But like you guys were saying that you need to be really open-hearted and no fear. Mm -hmm. And so they may have realized that, that I had that fear around that and left. Yeah. And I had like sacred geometrical form set up and I had all kinds of crazy stuff and it was really cool. Wow. That's you cool. guys have really excited me to, to go back and start doing some of this again too. So thank you. Nice. Yay. You're welcome. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks hey, for being here. Thank you for having me. That was fun. Yeah, definitely. And um, we'll have to do it again because we have tons of tons and tons of photos oh to share. I'd love to see mm -hmm. more. And, oh, bless you. 
and (laughs) (laughs) thank you everyone for being here and watching and and, um, hopefully you enjoy this and of course do all the YouTube stuff if you haven't already subscribed hit the button and please comment on it yeah please let (laughs) us know uh, your thoughts and how you enjoyed the the video today and I will have all of Tracy's information orb sisters information down in the description wonderful and also when you when when you go over to the Facebook group orb yes. sisters let the girls know that you saw this and that's what brought you over there because it's always good to to have the feedback to know yeah. that when we're sharing this stuff in these different venues you know what is what is attracting you mm-hmm. to to get involved and to do more of this we always like to know those things so yes and if you mention that you'll get a discount off the next video we have <laughs> no way <laughs> Oh, I'm terrible. Okay. You're so cute. <laughs> you get to watch it for free. Get all this great awesome. information. I know. <laughs> New Earth Rising, we love you. We, we do. This is going to be on New Earth Rising. It's going to be on Sharon's YouTube. It's going to be on my YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on Tracy's YouTube. Orb Sisters YouTube. Orb Sisters YouTube. And let's mm-hmm. just spread these orbs everywhere. That's right. Spread the love. Spread the Let love. Let the love begin in earnest. <laughs> okay. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs> yes. <laughs>